Hey, it's Mary and welcome back to my channel. This week's video is, I feel very, very important, especially with, you know, the virus that's going around and all this panic buying. Yes, come on in, right when I'm filming. <sighs> hey, it's Mary and welcome back to my channel. This video has been, the light is not even on, you guys. It's been such a struggle to film today. Let's try that again. <laughs> hey, it's Mir and welcome back to my channel. This video has been... Hey, it's Mir and welcome back to my channel. This video has been the biggest struggle to film <laughs> with just all the chaos that's going on um, and on top of, you know, two under two. With everything that's going on with our world and just, you know, with this virus going around, um, things have been pretty scary and just hectic, I guess I would say. Um, I've, I've tried going to the store, you know, with all this panic buying. Um, things are very limited and honestly, I think that's been, you know, freaking me out a little more. Um, on top of, you know, the virus that's going around. Just like everyone panic buying everything. Um, I went past the baby aisle and I was just shocked that like there's, there's nothing on the shelves, you know? And as a mom, uh, especially of a newborn, like that's just so stressful seeing that and knowing that, you know, there are mothers out there struggling, you know, who don't have formula for their kids or don't have diapers for their kids because they're just literally all being bought up before they can reach them and now they're going without and their children are going without is really stressful and it just hurts my heart. Um, so to all the moms out there who are just trying to make it through with, you know, the virus going around and everyone panic buying and just <sighs> the struggles that is happening right now my heart is out for you and I'm so sorry um I wanted to make this video on cloth diapering because I feel like now is like the perfect time to really try to get informed or educate on you know alternatives out there um, just to try to give you some kind of hope, uh, especially if you run out of diapers specifically, um, that there are other things that you can try. I am going to be talking about pocket diapers. Um, those are just the kind of diapers that we choose to use on our girls. I just find them much easier. Yeah, so my whole stash behind me, <laughs> you can see. Uh, I have a lot of diapers and that's because I'm cloth diapering two right now. So I need to make sure that I have enough for both girls. <laughs> Um, and basically I'm just going to be stuffing diapers and talking to you about why I cloth diaper and just things that you can do if you don't want to try pocket diaper. <sighs> with that being said, let's get on with the video. So why we choose to cloth diaper. Um, so I had already planned on cloth diapering her. Um, I just thought that I was going to have more time. I wanted to wait until we were uh, out of the hospital and her umbilical stump, or yeah, that's what it's called, fell off um, just to make things easier and I didn't have to worry about, you know, the fit and all of that and being under the stump and all of that. So I wanted to wait, but we realized, I think she was in that diaper for, I don't know, I feel like it was the day after. Yeah, it was the day after that she was born. Um, she was getting her diaper changed and when we took off her diaper, everywhere that diaper touched her, she literally had blisters, like on her legs, on her belly, everywhere. It was red, it was blistering. It was almost like it was about, like her skin was about to start bleeding and I almost started crying. Like I started freaking out. I'm like, no, we need to go get her diapers. Like she can't, you know, like she's obviously allergic to diapers, which I had a feeling she might be allergic to diapers because I'm allergic to disposable pads um, and I get the same reaction. So um, I was kind of prepared for that. So I had like literally immediately told my husband like, no, like you need to go get, you know, coconut oil. You need to get these um, Viva paper towels. Um, to wrap around the baby because she's she can't wear these diapers so he went he did that 
and we literally wrapped my daughter up in these paper towels before we put her diaper on so that it wouldn't touch her skin and that helped a lot like that was magical for her um and yeah the second that we got discharged from the hospital i went home and she was cloth diapered because she's too sensitive to whatever chemicals that they're putting in disposable diapers and i have tried other brands um and i've tried multiple times to put her in a regular diaper and it just does not work diaper companies are not um legally required to list the ingredients that are you know in their products like in the diapers on the actual box so which is i think is crazy because you're literally putting this stuff against your baby's newborn skin so just to name off a couple like there's literally a whole bunch um, like things like chemicals like dioxins, um, plastics, perfumes, adhesive, dyes, petroleum, all of these things um, are in the diapers which, which makes it you know so absorbent which is actually really toxic and harmful for your body and your skin which is why you will develop like these chemical rashes and burns from them and we literally put them on our newborn babies. That doesn't even make sense. So, I mean, there are other alternatives, you know, to cloth diapers, which would be like the organic diapers, uh, like the Honest Company has some, and you know, all of these really top quality, all natural, you know, diapers. Um, they're super expensive though, but if you have the money, then, you know, definitely go for that, and you want like that disposable convenience of a disposable diaper, then definitely go for those kind of diapers. Newborns go through about 2,500 diapers, which is, bless you, which is from birth to one year old. And um, your one year old up to like maybe two years old or to potty training, they take an extra 1,800 diapers. Um, just to throughout their whole you know diapering period or stage that's 4,300 diapers so I started buying these disposable liners um, they're bamboo liners and they're 100% biodegradable and basically is to help with you know when she goes number two you put this liner on the inside of the diaper and then when she uses the restroom you grab the liner or dump it into the toilet and you just flush the whole thing so that way there's not a whole bunch of you know poop all over your diapers um the packs that we bought are by blue snail and we buy them on amazon of course and they come in a pack of four each one has 100 biodegradable liners so that's 400 in a pack since february of last year i have bought four of those So that means my daughter alone, my one-year-old, has gone through 1,600 diapers. So I would say this, the statistics are pretty average, are pretty accurate. Um, if when you think about it, like that's just a whole bunch of diapers, and like I, we don't really notice how many diapers that we go through because we just keep reusing the same diapers that we have. But yeah, that's just insane. From one year she's gone through that many diapers and that's not even newborn phase so yeah um i just thought that was pretty interesting and i just love like when we have to buy a whole new pack of those because i'm like whoa just talking to my husband like can you think about like how much money we saved by doing cloth diapers a lot um so that's another you know uh pro you do save a lot of money um there is like the initial investment the initial investment is just buying your stash. We did buy like different styles of diapers, um, but ultimately when she was born, we realized we love pocket diapers. And our stash, we have about 24 to 30 diapers per child. So my oldest daughter has 24 diapers now. And then our newborn, we have a stash of newborn diapers. So she has 24 newborn diapers and she has 24 like regular diapers, I guess. Um, you do not have to like invest a whole bunch of money in your newborn diaper stash because your baby will grow out of those diapers really fast. Um, we just happen to have smaller sized babies. So the newborn diapers last my babies like three months, three or four months. So it's worth it for us. Um, but most babies do fit in the one size diapers, which are these. 
they do fit in these one size diapers basically from birth but they do get bigger because they unsnap and then these are the newborn diapers so this is what my daughter wears now so there's a significant difference but yeah the kind that we chose to use are these pocket diapers so as you can see there's like this opening right here at the top which is called the pocket and on the inside there is this PUL it's like a waterproof um, fabric that basically makes it's what makes the whole diaper waterproof and you just stuff whatever into this pocket so these are good because they're customizable so I know they have like all-in-ones that like everything is just like sewn in so you don't have to take anything apart or stuff anything but these are perfect because you can adjust the absorbency so my daughter um, my newborn which is on my lap right now <laughs> um, when she was first born I only had one liner in her diaper and then once she outgrew that then I'm like okay now she needs two liners in her diapers now she's at three liners in her diapers so like we can it's super uh, adjustable like you can add some in you can take some out um, I also do a different you know set of inserts for her nighttime diapers uh, to make it more absorbent because she does sleep sleep for hours like five plus hours at night already so she's gonna need a diaper that is able to absorb and you know hold up without leaking through the night so yeah this is why we love these diapers also you don't need to have these like set inserts like this um, you can use like blankets or pre-folds or um, flats, uh, kitchen towels. You can stuff all of that into the actual diaper and it has this wonderful like lining in it. So this is a moisture wicking lining, which means that when your baby pees, um, it's going to wick away that moisture so your baby doesn't feel like it's sitting in pee. Um, which is perfect. So um, this is also perfect because of the liners that it comes with. It comes with two microfiber liners um, and microfiber is the only kind of material that cannot go against your baby's skin. So this liner is really absorbent but it's so absorbent it will actually like uh, take the natural oils and things out of your baby's skin which will cause them to have rashes and dry skin and things like that so this can never go against your baby's skin but this is the only material that cannot go against your baby's skin so I do have a bunch of these because as I already said they automatically come with your diaper when you purchase them um, and they're good as like doublers if you need more observancy go ahead and put a microfiber you know towel in or insert in. with these microfiber ones there uh, is a con um, and that's called compression leaks so this absorbs so much liquid and all of that but it's basically like a sponge so when say this is full and it's inside your baby's diaper and your baby sits down that compression it's going to let all of that liquid out and it's going to seep out of the sides of the diaper and yeah no one really wants that you want a diaper that is leak proof so that is a downside if you're only using microfiber but you can combat that with other types of liners um, so this one is my newborn liner and it's made of 55% hemp and 45% organic cotton when you use organic materials and fabrics like this um, your baby won't have compression leaks and this is um, basically the same one this is 55% hemp 45% organic cotton and this is for my toddler so <laughs> it's a huge difference but these are extremely absorbent and these I put in nighttime diapers when I know my daughters are going to be in their diapers for like a long period of time and we don't get leaks with these when we use these properly <laughs> Um, our stash we also have these um, bamboo liners which are pretty absorbent on their own um, my daughter used to have just one of these in her diapers which made it very slim um, but she definitely outgrew that absorbency so uh, we use this and one of these microfiber ones for her everyday like morning diapers 
And then for her nighttime diapers, we do a microfiber, a bamboo, and a hemp insert. So she has three inserts in her diapers at nighttime. That is why we cloth diaper our girls during times like these. Like it's so, it just relieves, relieves a lot of stress that we don't have to worry about, you know, the stores running out of diapers or anything or ever having to run out of diapers, period, because we always have diapers for our girls. Um, even if our washing machine breaks down, I have washed um, my daughter's diapers by hand and you know, just dry them out in the sun. And yeah, it's just, it works for us. And I'm so grateful and glad that like we're actually doing this. We, we have actually saved a lot of money. Um, it's better for the environment in terms that we're not throwing away, you know, disposable diapers that just stay in the landfills um yeah i hope this video has given some kind of light into you know the cloth diapering world um now i'm just going to be sitting here and stuffing diapers if my newborn will allow me to put her down <laughs> mom life hey if you enjoyed this video be sure to like and subscribe to see more content like this see you in the next one